How do you open a bottle with a hammer? Are electric tin openers any good? And what's this thing for? Let's find out. The first kitchen utensil we're going to look at is this one. It's a really cool safety tin opener and it works with this ratchet lever. I think this may be a discontinued item because I couldn't find a new one for sale anywhere. I had to buy a second hand unused one. Let's see how well it works. It's a really funky looking design. As you'd expect, the can opening mechanism is on the bottom, and when we operate the ratchet lever back and forth, you can see it turning the toothed wheel here. The handle slides open like this to open up the mechanism for fitting onto a can. And there's these little metal pliers here on the side, which we can use for removing the lid after. It feels really robust and well made, and I'll explain what this little hook on the side is for later. But let's try it out. So we slide open the handle, place it over the lip of the can, and we can use this arrow to help line it up. Then push the handles back together so it grips the can firmly. Then with your other hand, ratchet the lever back and forth. You can hear it clicking, and you can see the can starts to rotate underneath. It's really cool. You can use this gadget both left and right handed, and it definitely feels like something's working. Once we've gone all the way around, you can feel the resistance change. So remove the opener, and we can now use the small pliers to lift off the lid. It seems to work really well, but the packaging says it leaves no sharp edges, so let's check it and see. I emptied and washed the can, and when we take a look inside, it does look nice and smooth. There are no sharp edges. I can run my fingers around the inside and around the rim. I'm impressed. And if we take a look at the lid, there does appear to be a bit of a channel around the outside, but it's not sharp and I can hold it on the edge. And what's really cool is I can take the lid and push it back onto the can like this. It's almost like a secret concealed hiding place can. More on those later, so stay tuned. So what's this hook on the side for? Well, if you struggle to open ring pull cans like this, you can slide it underneath like this, hook it through the loop, and roll back the utensil to peel back the lid. I really do like this gadget. So how about electric can openers? This one says yes you can, and it's an automatic hands-free can opener for hassle-free cooking. Let's open it up and remove the packaging, and it's even got some instructions stuck onto the unit with this clear sheet. It's quite a large unit compared to an ordinary can opener, but I guess it's got a motor and all sorts of electronics inside. Slide open the cover, and it takes four AA batteries. And now when I press the on button, you can see it working. That's interesting, it does a little backspin when you stop it. To use it, we just sit it on top of our food tin, make sure the rim is in between the mechanism, then press the on button. It starts cutting, and automatically turns itself all the way around the can. Pretty cool, huh? Once it's gone all the way around, turn it off, and put it to one side. We can now just lift off the lid, and in much the same way as the last opener, there are no sharp edges. I'd say it does a really good job and could be very useful for anyone who struggles opening food cans. And the built-in magnet sometimes even removes the lid for you. The next one we're going to look at is this, Mighty Hammer Opener, Thor's Hammer, Mjolnir, from Norse Mythology. Remove it from the packaging, and there it is. It's actually a bottle opener. It does feel quite plasticky. It is really just a novelty gift, but it's pretty cool. I'm removing the keychain from the bottom of the handle, and if you're having a party, you could place it down next to some drinks. Your guests can try to lift the mythical hammer and use it to open up a drink. The bottle opener aspect of it seems to work fine, and it's a good fun novelty gift. Next we're going to take a look at this. It's a stainless steel bottle opening gadget, which I found for sale online. And when we remove it from the packaging, you can see it looks quite curious. The bottom here's got some clever mechanism which is spring-loaded and it pushes down inside. And as it pushes down, you can see it operates this lever. So let's try it out. The idea is we just place it over the cap and push it down. Oh, and look at that, it's even got a magnet to retain the cap. Well, that's worked really well. Let's try it again. Yeah, what a cool gadget. And I could imagine if you've got a lot of bottles to open really quickly, it could be really useful. I really like this opener, and the Thor hammer too. 
The next item I'm going to look at is this soda pump fizz keeper. Apparently it fits a standard sized bottle and it keeps the fizz in your soda. So let's remove it from the packaging and try it out. If we take a closer look it's got this large bulb at the top and a sort of bottle top at the bottom with a rubber seal and a hole in the middle. When I give the bulb a couple of pumps I can feel air blowing out of the hole. It's also got a catch and it opens up like this. So the idea is if you're opening up a bottle of fizzy drink, pouring yourself a glass but keeping some for later, you can screw on the fizz keeper instead of the standard bottle top. Then pump the bulb a few times which will blow air inside and actually pressurise the bottle a bit. This should help to prevent the loss of CO2 bubbles in your drink as you store it. You can see I firmed up the bottle and when you want to pour some more you can just open up the catch, fold it over and pour yourself another drink. It really is a clever design and you can now store your drink for a lot longer without losing the fizz. Pretty cool huh? The next thing we're going to look at is this safe can. It's a secret concealed hiding place for storing your valuables. If we take a look at it, it looks really realistic. Apart from the bottom which is where we access the can. If I match it up with a real can of beans you can see the labels are almost identical. They've done a really good job. And size wise it's exactly the same. The top looks a little bit different but that would be hard to notice at a glance and to access it we just turn and remove the plastic plate on the bottom. There's obviously no sharp edges at all and it seems really well made. There's plenty of space for some money or jewellery and the lugs on the plastic lid lock in place when you turn it. Hide it in the kitchen cupboard along with your other cans and you'd never be able to tell it's a secret stash pot. Ironically I'm actually always really paranoid that someone's going to steal my baked beans. So this stash pot is the perfect place to hide them. No one will ever think of looking for them in here. The next gadget we're going to look at is this easy open can opener. It's got a rubber non-slip grip and it's great for people who have joint pain or arthritis and struggle to open cans with ring pulls. It's this plastic utensil shaped like a swan neck and with a beak at the end. And in a similar way to the other one we use it by hooking it underneath the ring pull then slowly pull back on the handle to peel back the lid. Once you've got the knack it really does make opening cans easy. And what's really good about this gadget is you can even use it with drinks cans. If you'd like to see some more of my kitchen gadgets or food hack videos there's links in the description. Have fun, stay safe and as always thanks for watching.